This video demonstrates the standard operating procedure with respect to the polyethylene powder fluidized bed in the unit operations laboratory at Lafayette College. Before operating the fluidized bed, ensure all safety precautions are met. Proper lab attire consisting of long pants, closed-toed shoes, and safety goggles must be worn when operating the fluidized bed column. When handling the heat gun and metal tags, ensure that the heat gloves are worn to prevent burns. First, familiarize yourself with the setup of the apparatus and identify the location of the following. Air supply valve. Air filter. Pressure gauge. Air flow meter and valve. Air plenum. Air distributor plate. Column pressure drop gauge. Turn on the air supply valve to the system. Before you open the airflow meter, ensure the top of the column is covered with the supply shower cap and the powder in the bed is level approximately. The side of the fluidized bed can be tapped to level the powder. Slowly introduce air into the system by opening the airflow meter valve. If the bed starts to slug, reduce the flow of air to the column by closing the valve slightly. Slugging can occur if the powder absorbs moisture or the fluidized bed has not been used for an extended period of time. Once the bed is fluidized, remove the cover and set the airflow to the desired flow rate, which must be above the minimum fluidization velocity. To learn how to determine the minimum fluidization velocity, watch the related video, Determination of the Minimum Fluidization Velocity, on the Lafayette CHBE YouTube channel. Above the minimum fluidization velocity, the powder behaves as a dense fluid. Objects can be fully submerged in the powder in this state. Attach a wire loop to the tag and record the mass of the tag with the wire. Then, attach the tag to the hook. In this lab, aluminum tags are heated with the heat gun. The aluminum is heated above the melting temperature of the polyethylene powder, which is approximately 105 degrees Celsius. Have the heat gun aimed at the tag, then turn the heat gun on. Convection from the heat gun will cause the tag to move, therefore tweezers should be used to hold the tag in place. When operating the heat gun, protective gloves must be worn to prevent burns. Make sure that the heat gun is directly pointed at the tag and that no one besides the operator is in the vicinity of the heat gun. Tags must be held steady while heating. To determine the temperature of the tag, turn the IR thermometer on by pulling the trigger and ensure that it is in the EMS mode and that the emissivity value is set correctly. When taking measurements, to reduce error, hold the thermometer on the same side as the heat gun so as to not accidentally read the temperature of the heat gun. Aim the laser beam at the top of the tag. Avoid the hot air flow from the heat gun. Heat the tags 10 degrees Celsius above the desired set point. Wait for the temperature to reach the set point then lower the tag into the fluidized bed. Heat transfer between the tag and the polymer will melt the polymer onto the tag, thus effectively coating the tag in the polymer. Avoid dipping the hook into the bed. It will make removal of the tag difficult. Dip the tag for the desired amount of time, then pull the tag out of the bed. When removing the tag, it may be necessary to shake the tag to remove excess powder. Avoid hitting the coated tag against the side of the column. To smooth the coating, reheat the coated tag with the heat gun. Once again, holding it in place with forceps. Do not grab the coated part of the tag with tweezers or you will transfer the melted polyethylene to the tweezers. Once the tag is cooled, record the mass of the coated tag and wire. This value can be used to calculate the coating thickness. To shut down the apparatus, ensure the heat gun is turned off and unplugged. Slowly decrease the airflow to about 20% and shut off the air supply valve. Then completely shut the airflow valve to 0%. In case of an emergency, shut off the airflow, close the air supply valve, turn off the heat gun, and cut the power to the apparatus. To 
To learn more about the operation of the fluidized bed, watch the related videos on the Lafayette CHBE YouTube channel.